so welcome back friends this is sonia here from growing craft and i have been really confused on uh, how to make a different kind of name plate yes i have done few of decoupage and mixed media name plates and with this one i wanted to experiment a lot with some other supplies also and uh, you have always seen me using uh, the prints sticking in the center doing the decoupage work and that's how i do it so yes i'm going to do decoupage but in a different way and now i need to start with my with 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 um, my decoupage work and okay this is the base what i have and now i'm going to work on this to start with uh, here is the twist i am not going to paint my base in plain white shade i am going to use my mod podge and today i have decided to use my diy mod podge glue and i have already done a video link on that you can check in my channel and of course i i'm also licking the mod podge and the fevicryl mod podge you can try those also so here first i am going to apply my decoupage glue my diy decoupage glue that sounds so interesting to me i am using my own created decoupage glue and this is really transparent this does not show any 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 color to me so here i am applying that with a flat brush i love applying these things with my flat brush cause uh, it always uh, it always helps in giving a good coverage to your project and makes your work faster and gives a good sense okay so here i'm done and i am going to stick it this complete paper here i will just shift back this one and i'm going to make sure that i stick it really really well yes you can see some of my some of the paper marks here but in that absolutely absolutely fine and one thing i have also done a tutorial on how to do decoupage on this plastic jars so this was actually a trans this is actually a transparent jar and uh, i'll show you once the decoupage glue settles down and i have done that uh, video tutorial it's live on my channel do check that too okay so here i am done with this now i need my heat gun to speed up the drying process i'm just pressing it quite good hard so that uh there are no bubbles i really don't want any bubbles because i'm going to do my decoupage on the top of it and uh, yes you heard it right i'm going to do my decoupage on the top of this one so i'm going to run my heat gun everywhere and i'm going to make sure that it dries out well so that i can start with my next step it's quite a good morning here in bangalore and i'm loving the weather i'm loving the time and i'm already done with my morning routine freshening up then working sending my daughter to school and with my exercise and every every everything now with the scissor i'm going to cut this and i just need to make sure that i don't leave any paper here okay now did you see this now this is happening these marks are coming because of scissor I also want to show you one more technique. Okay, so this is my craft mat. This is a must for every crafter out there because uh, we do not want to ruin our uh, table base for sure because it's not that easy to get your uh, table 
finishing work done so yes so this is my um whiskers paper knife craft cutter and i'm going to use this i'll just zoom in and i'll show you the how beautifully and how easily it trims down your paper and see this is so smooth and can you see the marks here i hope you can see okay can you see the gaps which has come here the paper has torn out so that's because of the scissor and with this craft knife it's so smooth you just need to make sure that uh, you have kept your craft mat on the top and then you just cut it so yes this is done okay so here i'm done with my cutting work and now it's time for me to do my decoupage and for decoupage i am going to just clean up this brush so whenever i'm crafting i make sure that i have a glass jar with me where i can keep my uh, clean my brushes and uh, you can take any other container also but i find uh, having a glass jar always helps in just seeing the color of water which makes you realize that do you need to change the water now it becomes easier so now this is the paper which i absolutely loved and i wanted to use so what i'm going to do is now this is actually an experiment for me i have never ever done uh, anything like this so this might go like a plain blunder for me also no worries we will try out and we will see that how it works okay so i have decided to have this gra uh, green pattern on my base and i need to cut this along the line so i will need it till this portion so i'm going to trim my decoupage paper from this side i'm taking a little bigger size cause uh, if you are a follower of my group uh, channel you must be knowing that uh, uh, i prefer to have a little bigger decoupage napkin you can always trim it off once your decoupage work is done but it is good to have a bigger decoupage napkin or the paper so that uh, especially with the napkins if it shrinks while using it uh, suppose if you got uh, too much of wrinkles or bubbles or anything you will have some extra portion to cover it up okay so now this is good for me now let me remove the plies and one and two okay so here i just remove the plies of my napkin now i just want to show you that um before removing the ply i can't see the text at all can i see it after removing the plies can you see the text i'll just zoom in can you see the text so this is easier for me to work and here i can't see the text at all so i'm just going to remove my ply completely which is any ways required and once i'm done with removing my plies yes i can see the text and now i'm going to stick this now sticking for sticking this one i am going to use my uh, mod podge the plaid mod podge and i will start from this area Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I apply good amount of uh, mod podge. I will start sticking this one, and I need to have I need to have a flat brush, and I will just start pressing it from the starting point of my main plate. That will make sure. that i don't leave any gap here and there and i'm going to make sure that i press it well simultaneously so that it sticks well on my base now i will be sticking the second half okay i will just hold my napkin 
like this and then I will start pressing this so this is going to make sure that I don't have too much of wrinkles here okay like I always say use your flat brushes they are just amazing they are just superb for uh, doing your artwork and they are really amazing when it comes to sticking your decoupage napkins they work wonderfully so I'm taking a bigger stretch here and done this is done okay this looks beautiful this looks amazing I'm happy that I can see my text which I can uh, I am going to uh, highlight later on but first I need to do the finishing work I'm just brushing my flat brush the clean dry flat brush um, very softly on my base and done this is done and it looks amazing but first let me close my bottles okay oops, 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 oops. this looks gorgeous I loved 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 the green color now let me get my nail filer so that I can remove this Okay, so here I got my follow and by this time I'm sure that my uh, decoupage napkin has dried out well and I'm going to use my phyllo. Uh, again, I'll repeat this whenever you're using your sandpaper or the phyllo, drag it from your paper to your base, drag it from your napkin to your base. This is going to make sure that you are not ruining your paper if you do it upside down it is going to take your paper out your paper will come out even if it, it has dried out it is going to damage your uh, base and paper don't do that always from up to down from your decoupage paper and napkin to the base so you can see how smoothly this comes out this is really 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 important and this is very much required I love using nail filers for uh, especially for the soft kind of uh, uh, projects like this is this name plate uh, thickness is not too much
so I am done with my trimming work now the first thing which I want to do is uh, that I want to highlight my text I really want to highlight this so that I know that what kind of detailing work I will be doing because uh, once I highlight my text which is going to be the prominent thing uh, I will be able to realize that uh, what kind of detailing can be done here so I will be using my acrylic black color paint and I will be doing this coloring with a round brush this is triple zero number and I need to settle down I need to sit and work because this is going to take a bit of time So here I am done with my one layer of my coloring and I am going to use my heat gun so that it dries out fast because I am planning to do my second layer of uh, black color on this. I just want this to highlight a little more. Uh, maybe it is not highlighting that much because of the color combination what I have taken but I really love this paper and I wanted to have this and I thought this will go really well. I didn't realize that uh, this is going to be so darker and um, hmm, let me see let me see what can i do to highlight this so adding some more color on my cap and i'm going to use this now So I'm done with my second coat and after second coat I'm realizing that it looking, uh, it looking um, more vibrant, more popped out. So I think having two coats of uh, my acrylic black paint actually worked out for me here. And now I need to quick dry this one so that I can start with my other step. Okay, so here my table is full and now I really need to work with different elements here and I just want to give you a glance that whatever I'm going to use. So I have some of the solar flowers and paper flowers and these are some of the handmade paper flowers uh, packs. This is the woolen uh, flower and then I have few of the uh, sequins, embellishments, stones, buttons, I have these uh, uh, threads and I have my shimmer spray. So I just thought of blending this with some colors. So I am using my uh, shimmer spray paint here but you can use any of the colors which you want and I just want to uh, highlight few of the areas here and there just to make it look a little more settled and um, just to have some motion maybe I should remove this so that you can see the colors and this is not going to do a lot of contrast thing here this is just going to add a tinge of yellow it was too much of green on the palette which I felt and just to uh, remove that monotony of green color I have used a yellow color spray if you are uh, working with some other different colors you can use other colors too you can choose the colors whatever you want as per your uh, 
color palette and as per your choice so I'm just quick drying everything so that I can work with other elements here so a bit more of drying work is required <coughs> okay so now this is done and now I need to arrange my flowers and this is one of the tricky part and but most interesting part of uh, doing a mixed media project where you play around with so many elements the paper flowers and everything and they work wonderfully for your projects so as you can see that my uh, green color or uh, decoupage napkin has so many so many shades here so I just thought that uh, maybe I should add some more colors to it add some more drama to it and adding flowers is something which I feel that it's like adding more drama to your project so which I like which I absolutely like I love drama in my project and yes I hope that works out good here so I'm just uh, a quick tip whenever you're using your paper flowers if they come with this kind of stem just fold it press it well and it's ready to go it is not going to come out at all just press the stem the stick and it is the layers are not going to come out at all this is a really important step if you are using your stems as it is it's not going to come out but as I have shortened the stems there are high chances that everything might pull out once I use my if I use my colors or space and over the time it might come out so always just fold these stems and it's done so I think I'm good to go with this then I would like to add some other colors here, maybe this one or uh, I'm liking the polka dots I'll use that one only maybe a bit more of green this one looks good too. oh I found this one I'll use instead of green I'm going to use the shades of blue here okay and then I love 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 these uh, woolen thread flowers I think they are really 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 gorgeous so maybe I can use some of them here can I or let me see how to arrange everything because like I say uh, that's the most tricky part of doing any project because you need to get hold of uh, your uh, project will here and you need to make sure that whatever you have sticked has worked out properly and can I add some more mm, can I add some more I'll take this one this is not white this is off white shade I'll add this to my palette and maybe I can have this pink here <clears throat> just to break the monotony of this one I have so 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 many flowers in this kind of packaging I really I'm very confused on which one to use okay I have recently got some of the leases so, <clears throat> so this was a mixed pack which I got and now I'm going I'm thinking why not to add this green color lace to it will it good look will it look look good I think no no it is not looking that good let me see what else I can what else I can add to my okay Maybe I can have some blue color sequins here and I think I should remove that and I'll use this one once again and I am going to add some more uh, purple flowers to this palette because I just felt that uh, purple is popping out so well in green and this will look 
good i will add some more green shades i'm not uh, so whenever you're doing your embellishments work uh you need to do it with an open heart the more uh, varieties of embellishments you use they are going to look crazily beautiful uh, so don't hesitate to add your embellishments don't hesitate to try with different embellishments and uh, i love 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 doing this one so i'm not doing the buttons right now because i am going to add that only uh, after some time at the end towards the end only so i will start with this big flower now so i roughly know that how i want my project to look so i'm sticking this flower i'll take it till the end so that i have this as my working area shall i zoom in yeah uh no i can show you the embellishments like this okay so i have just stick this one then i will be adding uh these flowers i will add some here you can just play around with the different shades and flowers and embellishments and they look amazingly amazingly beautiful i think i should add something here to maybe which one purple yeah this looks good this is already looking like a beautiful bunch out here i will add this peach color here and now i will be adding the smaller flowers here and there wherever i feel that i should add something i'll do this here i'll try to put it here towards the center okay this is done this one uh can i add can i add one more here i'll just try to make sure that it does not covers my g and adding one more here so um, this looks good okay now this looks really 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 good and now it's time to add my buttons here so i will be adding one of the light blue button here this is just to break the monotony of all the dark shades here so likewise i will be adding one blue color button here now i need to add some buttons here and there and one here so whenever i'm doing this i just make sure that i overlap my embellishments on each other so that it looks like a one family member staying together so much indian families like okay 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 now this looks really 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 good mm i'm just thinking of adding a couple of more uh pink flowers here uh, so maybe i can stick it here okay so now this makes my bunch look so complete and now i am i am really keen on adding some of these threads here and there but i really don't know which color will go i think red or maybe i can have some um white and let me try to tie this up like a bunch mm. i don't know okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this and i'm i'm going to fix this here and once i'm done with fixing of this particular piece then i'm going to cover this up with another flower and this is just 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 to cover up uh, this area where i have my notch 
coming out. So I'll put up my glue gun here and I sticked it. Okay, now this looks good and let me add one more here. So I'll just push it inside and I think this looks great. I'll just shift it quickly because my glue gun is still wet and I just shifted it and this is looking nice this is looking really 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 cool and now the most 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 important thing i need to add up my varnish to this one yes you will need a varnish to seal up this project and i just want to share this quick tip that how i uh, seal my project i always seal this with my varnish and this is a water-based varnish and I am going to cover up my complete project here now when I'm saying that I'm going to complete or uh, cover up my complete project here that means I am going to do my varnish on my base first and then I will be covering uh, my flowers also but first I need to cover up my base my decoupage work and once I am done with that then I am going to pour these varnish on my glass to put. Just remove this, yeah. Okay. So here I am going to pour in my varnish with my brush on each and every element. This is just going to make sure that it uh, settles down well, and it will be easier for you to clean up. So one thing I am not going to do my varnish on my thread work it is going to stick and I really don't want that so I am doing my varnish work only on the paper flowers and my other embellishments not on any of the thread work I have never ever done that so I really don't know that how it is going to work out so yes I'm just trying to remove the glue gun strings from here and and if they are there you will hardly see that you can't see that anyways so be generous with your varnish because this is actually going to add more strength to your embellishments more uh, strength to your project and I love adding varnish because uh, of course when we make something handmade that is so dear to us that is so 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 uh, important for us that we don't want it to get rained so easily okay so here i am done with this now if you want you can have uh, you can go with the uh, second coat of varnish too but i will just stick to my one coat of varnish because the reason is that i want to i really 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 want to use this as a home decor piece i'm not going to do overdue work on this and this is just for my aesthetical uh, decorative piece so i really don't have to add uh, too much of uh, varnish to it it is not going to get exposed or uh, it is not going to get uh, touched or used regular on a very regular basis so yes this is done this is ready and this is looking really 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 interesting and i love this one and i hope you like this too and if you have any queries please do comment below i will be more than happy to help you and of course you can uh, pour in your queries down in the description uh, in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and hit the like button and of course if you like this video you can share this with your friends and i hope you will create this and you will try this artwork and do let me know thank you so much for watching take care bye bye